59.59. As things stand, he will be comfortably inside two hours. Ed, how are you feeling from here? I feel like a bundle of nerves. Who thought they were going to see this in 2019? We haven't seen it yet, but who thought that this was possible in 2019? Yes, there are some, you know, parts of this which are, you know, uh, artificial in terms of the pacemakers, whatever. It's not a race. But who thought you'd see someone run sub two in 2019? It is beyond the imagination. When well, the conversation first started for the sub two effort, I said, no way. No way in my lifetime will I witness a sub two hour marathon. I truly did not believe I would be able to witness something like this. Well, the pace car will be peeling away at 41 kilometers and then it'll be down to the pacemakers themselves to bring Elliot home and all being well, they will then peel off as well and leave Elliot to run home the final few hundred meters. 1.2 kilometers to go. He is almost there. He has one hand on the history here in Vienna. There's Grace, his wife, looking on. She's never seen him race before in the flesh, remember. What a moment for her. What a moment for... What a moment for the children. The pace car is gone. We've lost the laser. He's getting now. One it's pace. now oh. all down to Elliot and the pace. The maker. gloves are off. He's this getting is, quicker. He's racing right now. This is this is racing. Well, this is true racing. Shalane knows what this feels like through the streets of uh, Central Park in New York, whether it's in Berlin or London. But today is all about Vienna. Today is all about Elliot Kipchoge. We're down to the last couple of minutes to bring him home. Ed, some final thoughts from you. I'm overjoyed that particularly this man has got to do this. Uh, it's not just the barrier being broken, it's something that has existed in this person's head for so long and I'm, it's so gratifying to watch, watch him achieve that. He's almost there. He can see the finish line. That's the view from Elliot Kipchoge. You can see the finish line where we are looming into view. 157 and approaching 158. I think we can say with some certainty there now. He goes. He's, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's right going there. He's telling him to move away. Come on, he says. Come on. This is it. Shalina, final this thought from you. This is incredible. Elliot's performance is such a gift to the world. His running is a gift to all of us. I feel so blessed to be here today. I feel like I hope everyone can hear me smiling through this microphone right now. I cannot stop smiling. 500 meters to go. He has the Hautale to himself. He's all the pacemakers have let him go. As Ed said, he is sprinting into to the history books here. They're cheering him on. 400 meters to go. Let's bring him home. This is history unfolding on the streets of Vienna this morning. It's a Saturday run like we've never seen before. Listen to the noise. The crowd getting right behind him. Goodness me, 300 meters to go. He can see the finish line here. Neil Armstrong we had on the moon in 1969. We had Roger Bannister, the four-minute mile 65 years ago. Edmund Hillary, the first man to climb Everest in 1953. We have one minute to go. Elliot Kipchoge is on his way here. It's this, humble, this humble farmer who used to run two miles to school every day and back. He used to go to the nearest town on his bike to sell milk at the local market. And now, through hard work and discipline, he's pointing. Come on, he says. Elliot Kipchoge has the hand of history on his shoulder. He has less than 200 metres to go. Elliot Kipchoge, let's keep an eye on the clock. Into the final 20 seconds. Elliot Kipchoge. Whoa! On his shoulder, 140, 140, the unofficial oh, line. his wife. Elliot, Elliot Kipchoge storms into the history books in Vienna. 159.40, the unofficial time. The first man to run a marathon in under two hours. One final lung-busting stride for Kipchoge. One giant leap for human endeavor. And you know, Kipchoge was right. No human is limited. And now he can celebrate. He has done it. And to Roger Bannister, Neil Armstrong, Edmund Hillary, we can now add the name of Eddie Kipchoge. Shalane, sum it up for us. Uh, I would like to just thank Elliot for sharing his gift with the world, with us today in the 
City of Dreams, he created an absolute masterpiece that will never be forgotten. Ed, that was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> that last kilometer was absolutely beautiful with his teammates cheering him on from behind. He's now being held aloft by all of his teammates. Uh, there's thousands of people with <laughs> cameras who want to hug him. There's a Kenyan flag. It's pandemonium at the finish line. He's going crazy. You wouldn't have thought he'd just run a marathon. No, he looks phenomenal. There are people crying in the crowd. Well, it was a, a very carefully choreographed plan for the finish, but that's completely been ripped up and thrown out of the window because Elliot Kipchoge is on. He's still got energy. How on earth do you have the energy to run like this after running at 13 miles an hour for two hours? There you can see the unofficial time. We may take a minute or two to make that the official time, but 159.40.2 is the unofficial.